Hi, this is Kurt Bennick with FourConstructionPros.com. We're here at the 2017 Work Truck Show. We're here with Chris Moran of Detroit. Chris, we talked to you last year about a DD5 engine. Now I understand we're looking at a DD8 engine. Yeah, exactly. So we're really excited now. This is uh, our next introduction into the medium duty market. Uh, the DD5 being an uh, inline four cylinder. Really a lot of the same design concepts, scalable, same uh, born stroke as the DD5, just two more cylinders. This is an inline six cylinder. Gives us that capability for uh, more horsepower and torque. And of course the folks here at the work truck show, what they're always, you know, they wanna do work. So they want PTO capability. Uh, we haven't, you know, put PTOs uh, behind the uh, DD5 yet, but this, when we launch it in uh, February next year, it'll start to go in chassis and we'll have a front engine power takeoff capability, rear engine power takeoff capability, and of course, uh, transmission PTOs available as well. Well, it's an interesting displacement size because an eight liter versus this traditional we've seen nine liters. I imagine this is a replacement for eight liters, and in some cases, can it even be a replacement for a 13 liter? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't say it would be a replacement for a 13 liter necessarily, okay. but you know, we have had feedback from our folks who drive it, they're like, you know, it feels like driving our DD13 around. So it, that is one thing with this platform. Um, you know, like like our heavy duty platform, having that clean sheet design approach, uh, we do produce power and torque at lower RPM. So you know, we'll reach peak torque already at uh, 1,200 RPMs, and and hold that through 1,600 RPMs. Okay, what are some unique design features on this DD8? Yeah, so some of the uh, unique design features, just like the DD5. Uh, you know, one thing that we're using is uh, variable exhaust cam phasing. If you remember me talking to you last year about that, you know, it's, it's not just the engine, it's a total system with the emissions challenges today. And what we do there is uh, the engineers are able to open the exhaust cam a little early in the combustion process. You have more heat yet. Uh, that escapes uh, down the exhaust stream. And we can uh, manage the after treatment system more efficiently for emissions benefits, uh, fuel economy, Hopefully, especially like, uh, you know, the benefit of that too is these PTO low load applications, less regens and driver intervention and just, you know, more about continuing to do your work throughout the day. Chris, what are we looking for in terms of timeline for release of the DD8 engine? Yep, so we're doing uh, some pre-series opportunities yet uh, later this year. And then uh, we will start production, putting it in, uh, if we start production in Detroit uh, in our engine plant later this year and then we'll start putting it in chassis. Uh, Freightliner is the first chassis we'll go into and that'll be February of 2018 and will be uh, available in the M2106, uh, the Freightliner 108 SD and the 114 SD as well. Perfect. Okay, I imagine this is a little bit larger engine. This is more in the vocational. Yeah, so this is uh, a 7.7 .7 liter engine. Okay. Uh, you know, we call it the DD8 and we'll have a uh, horsepower and torque range. Uh, the horsepower will start at 260, go up to 350 horsepower. We'll have uh, the torque will start out at 200, or I'm sorry, 660 pound feet. So picking up where the uh, the DD5 le leaves off and it'll go all the way up to 1,050 pound feet of torque. Perfect. Well, Chris, thanks a lot for giving us a rundown on the DD8. You bet. Thanks for coming. Thank you.